Back to News at 11 starts right now. Meaningful lives cut short in a plane crash. A cancer patient and his wife heading to treatment on a charity airplane when something goes wrong. Dealing drugs, but not from the pharmacy. Cocaine trafficking from behind the makeup counter. And rub-a-dub gross. A guy takes a bath in the sink at Burger King. This is Fox 25 News at 11. It was a flight that was supposed to give him a chance at life. The cancer patient being flown to Dana-Farber is killed in a plane crash. The airplane went down in the parking lot of a grocery store in Easton. All three people on board were killed. Hi again, everyone. I'm Mark Ocker. And I'm Maria Stefanos. Exactly what happened here, that's going to be determined by federal investigators who should be on the scene in just a couple of hours. Fox 25, Charmin Cicchetti, live in Easton with the very latest in our top story at 11. Charmin. Maria and Mark, we can tell you a little bit more about the victims of this crash tonight. We know that the pilot was a 65-year-old man from Brookfield, Connecticut. The married couple, who were the two passengers, they were both married. They were One was 37, the other 43 years old, and we've just learned they leave behind four-year-old twins. Nearby store surveillance capturing the fiery crash that killed 43-year-old cancer patient Robert Gregory and his 37-year-old wife Donna, both of New York. The pilot, Joseph Baker of Brookfield, Brookfield, Connecticut also died. Baker was flying the couple to Boston as part of a mercy mission so Robert could receive cancer treatment at Dana-Farber. One of Baker's friends tells us he was with him just last night, helping with the McCain campaign. He was also active in local town government and was known as the ultimate volunteer. You know, he was somebody that we went to when we had questions about the process in town government. So he was just a great volunteer and a good friend. Angel Flight transports people for medical treatment if they cannot afford it on their own. Just after 9 this morning, the plane took off from West Hampton, New York. It was bound for Logan, but went down in the Hannaford parking lot around 10.30. I saw it come out of the clouds in a stall or spin, and it just came straight down into the parking lot. Witnesses say the plane came in low over the trees, but pulled up quickly before the engine cut out. Investigators are looking into if the pilot knew he was in trouble and was searching for a safe place to land. And right now, the wreckage is still out here in this parking lot. It's covered with tarps. The NTSB is expected to come out here tomorrow to start investigating. In the meantime, police are standing guard over this wreckage. We're live here in Easton. Sharman Sacchetti, Fox 25 News. Sharman, thank you. Well, you can imagine the scene was totally chaotic. Horrified witnesses running for cover, others picking up their cell phones, dialing 911. We have one of those calls. Let's listen. It looks like a car just hit it in our parking lot and it's on fire. I don't know if anybody was in the car. I believe it's actually a plane crash. A plane crash? A plane crash. Robert Drive? Yeah. All right. Can get someone out there? Thank you. Yeah, it's just like a car just hit it in our parking lot and it's on fire. I don't know. Angel Flight New England is based out of North Andover. It provides free transportation to hospitals for struggling patients. The organization saying it is deeply saddened by today's accident. Dana Farber, Farber, where the plane was headed, calls the accident a horrible, unexpected loss and will do whatever it can to offer the family support. In the upcoming days, investigators now have to figure out what caused that plane to go down. Aviation expert Jim Baker was on the Fox 25 News at 5. He says the V-shaped tail and style of this plane could have played a role in the crash. They didn't make them very long uh, for a specific reason. Uh, if the door in that airplane opens, which is on the right side of the airplane, if it happens to swing open, it'll probably open up about a foot and uh, just go along in the slipstream there, but it blocks out the air to, the, uh, to that tail section and the plane is unflyable. Those federal investigators will be on the scene again in the morning. Fox 25 and MyFoxBoston.com will have continuing coverage of this deadly plane crash. You can log on to find out more about Angel Flight. You can view the crash scene, watch my entire interview with aviation expert Jim Baker. It's all on MyFoxBoston.com right now. Netto developing story out of Gloucester. His controversial comments making headlines all over the world when he said teenage girls at Gloucester High had formed a so-called pregnancy pact. Well, tonight that principal has resigned. Fox 25's Debbie Robman with details. He made national headlines when he talked about the so-called pregnancy pact at his high school. Now the Gloucester principal is out of a job. 
Joseph Sullivan abruptly quit his post, saying in a letter that his boss's failure to defend him shows, quote, I have neither the trust, confidence, or respect of the mayor nor the superintendent. Sullivan also says the mayor, quote, publicly slandered my reputation, my integrity, and my intelligence. We are seeking to understand whether it's based in rumor or in fact. It was at this news conference the mayor claimed the principal's memory was foggy when he was pressed for specifics about how he learned about the pregnancy pact. The controversy started in June when the principal told Time magazine a number of teenage students purposely got pregnant so they could raise their babies together. There were 17 girls in all expecting four times the average annual figure. Sullivan says without the mayor and superintendent's support, quote, the already difficult and challenging job of being the high school principal becomes next to impossible. Debbie Rodman, Fox 25 News. Well, the Gloucester School Committee has been holding these special meetings to discuss new policies for limiting teenage pregnancies, and they are considering giving students confidential access to free birth control. Clark Rockefeller has quite a story to share. Tonight, his lawyer says his client is willing to tell it on national TV. Stephen Rowland says the details are still being worked out, but the man now wanted in connection with a murder investigation on the West Coast wants to do interviews. Rowland was on Studio B with Shepard Smith on Fox News Channel. Are you going to actually do an interview, though, with one of those tabloid shows that will pay you some money for that, or how are you going to do this? No, 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 no. So who, who, who's going to get tabloid. to talk to him? Well, all the major networks want it. Right, but who are you going to let talk to him? Please. Well, um, I haven't decided yet. All right. But there'll be a framework for what can be discussed. Be sure to tune in tomorrow morning, starting at 5 a.m. Stephen Rones will be here in our studio live to answer questions about his client. Maria? Accusations of living large on Tufts tab. Two former Tufts University employees have been indicted on charges they separately stole nearly $1 million from the school. Josephine Neely was head of the Student Activities Office. Prosecutors say she stole more than $370,000, allegedly using the money to gamble at Foxwoods in Connecticut and to also buy some personal items. An employee of hers, budget and fiscal coordinator Raymond Rodriguez, he is also facing charges. Neely's attorney claims Rodriguez was upset he didn't get a promotion. That Mr. Rodriguez had asked for an, um, an enhancement of his employment, asked for a promotion, and it was denied. And because of that, he started making allegations against Ms. Neely, most of which were true. Rodriguez's attorney, no comment about the charges. He's accused of pocketing over $600,000, using it to pay off credit cards and fund a designer shopping spree. The school says someone called in and tipped them off about this missing money. Swept away by floods on vacation with her family. Seven-year-old Kaylin Ferrer died last week in flash floods in New Hampshire. She was vacationing with her family at Amesbrook campsite when police say the family's SUV was washed downstream. Ferrer's body was found inside the car. Rescuers were able to locate her parents and brother. They were taken to the hospital and later released. A funeral service will be held on Thursday at the family's church in Woonsocket, Rhode Island. Disappointing news for some New Hampshire residents affected by last month's Snapped tornado. Governor Lynch had asked President Bush to declare five counties a disaster area, but the president's declaration is only for three of those counties, and it does not include help for those residents. The aid is only for damage to community and state property. The governor says he's disappointed with the decision and will ask the president to reconsider. Selling drugs at the drugstore. Problem was they weren't legal prescriptions. A cosmetics employee and her boyfriend busted for selling cocaine at a Walgreens. Fox 25's Aaron Hawksworth live in Haverhill with reaction. Aaron. Well, Maria, usually when you go to Walgreens to buy some coke, you usually walk out with a bag, something like this. But some people have been walking out with a bag of that illegal white powder substance. This woman, Enri Fernandez, sells makeup. But it's not just cosmetic powder she allegedly sells. It's the illegal white powdery kind. That's right, we're talking about cocaine. And it's gotten this 27-year-old into quite a bit of trouble. After a three-month investigation at this Walgreens in Haverhill, police say this cosmetic clerk's boyfriend, Luis Ledesma, was dealing drugs out of the store. Here's how the deals went down. He'd send his customers to his girlfriend's cosmetic counter, where she'd then sell the drugs in the store's employee hallway or the bathroom. But police finally caught on to this couple's game and set up a sting. The two were arrested Monday. She did 
admit that she had cocaine. She told the police that she had some in her bra, that she had more in her pocketbook. Ledesma's attorney says the case against his client is incredibly weak, but prosecutors claim they have incriminating evidence. In the booking area, Ledesma says to his girlfriend, don't worry, baby, I'm going to tell the court that it was all mine. Ledesma's being held without bail. We tried to contact Walgreens corporate office, but they say they need more information before they can issue any kind of statement. We're live in Haverhill, Aaron Hawksworth, Fox 25 News. Thanks, Aaron. The latest water tests from the town of Pembroke showing no signs of E. coli, but five tests did come back positive for some coli from bacteria. So that means that that boil water advisory is still in place there. Free bottles of water being handed out at the high school, a third round of samples. That was taken this morning. Those results will be released tomorrow afternoon. A young boy on vacation with his father is attacked by a bear cub. The eight year old Florida boy was with his dad at the Great Smoky Mountain Park in Tennessee when the nearly 100 pound cub attacked him. Now the boy's father and some park rangers managed to get the bear off the board. It was just holding me to the ground and um, it pushed my teeth right into the rock. And um, then my dad pulled him off. I ran again, gripped and he started cackling me off. Well, the bear was caught a short time later and had to be killed because it showed aggression towards a person. That little boy is okay. So after the past couple of weeks, we've kind of grown accustomed to the showers and thunderstorms. It's old news now. So I'm going to throw you a curveball. Ocean storm, perhaps, in August? Check it out coming up. Yeah, we don't really want that curveball. But thanks, AJ. Taking a bubble bath at a Burger King. An employee in hot water, literally. I don't know. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, she bought it all at the mall, but apparently can't wear it to the mall. The outfit that security said was just too hot. Stay with us. The Fox 25 News at 11. We'll be right back. Fox 25 is prepping your family for the start of the school year. Check out the newest high-tech gadgets. Find out which learning tools your child really needs and protect your kids from cyber bullies. Back to school week this week on Fox 25 Morning News. It's Toyota's National Clearance Event. The best time for amazing deals and selection from the most fuel-efficient full-line car company, including Highlander. No other midsize crossover gives you higher MPG. And right now, you can save on your Highlander with a great clearance deal, $1,000 cash back. Or you can save on Sequoia with 60-month 0% financing plus $1,500 bonus cash. Toyota's National Clearance Event ends September 2nd. Hurry to your New England Toyota dealer today. play against anyone in the world with the best in entertainment Comcast and Wii sign up for the Comcast preferred plus triple play and get a free Wii system now more than ever you want to get the most for your money look no further than the rugged V6 2008 Kia Sportage fuel efficient five-star safety rated backed by an industry-leading warranty and it's priced about six thousand dollars less than a Toyota RAV4 Limited or to put it another way, a whole year's worth of groceries less. The Kia model year-end event, it's money well saved. While others are reducing your opportunity to lease, Kia is proud to offer a $199 a month lease on the 2008 Sportage. I can't go to school with her. I can't introduce her to new friends. Can I sit here? Sure. I like your top. Thank you. Or tell everyone how amazing she is but I can give her what she needs to feel good about herself without breaking my budget. That's why I go to Walmart. All she has to do is be herself. Give them all the brands they love, like LEI and OP for low Walmart prices. Save money, live better, Walmart. The state claimed hundreds of sex offenders moved out of Massachusetts, so they took them off the offender registry. Now the state's admitting to Fox Undercover this was only a tactic to make it seem like fewer sex offenders are living here. Wednesday on Fox 25 News at 10. This is Fox 25 News at 11.
Quite the mess when a large piece of glass falls from a New York City skyscraper. Police say the glass fell from the Bank of America Tower, which is 54 stories tall. Most of the glass hit some scaffolding. Only a few pieces actually fell onto the sidewalk below. Witnesses had no idea what was happening at first. We heard a loud boom, right? Saw the metal hit, hit, the, hit this um, platform right over here, and the next thing you know, all this glass came tumbling down all the way over here in big chunks. Fire officials say two people were hurt but are expected to be okay. Traffic was rerouted while crews cleaned up the glass. The man convicted of killing Beatles legend John Lennon has been denied parole again for a fifth time. Mark David Chapman will remain locked up in New York's Attica Correctional Facility for at least another two years. The parole board says Chapman has a clean disciplinary record but believe that his release would not be in the best interest of the community. Chapman was sentenced to life in prison for shooting Lennon to death outside of his Manhattan apartment building in 1980. I tell you what, you know, we've had kind of an oddball summer where we've had these day after day after day with thunderstorms, even a couple tornadoes and water spouts. So the only way it could get weirder is to have some sort of an ocean storm in August. Why not? It's in the forecast. Let me show you what I'm talking about. First off, the headlines. Uh, we're going to talk about a dry day. How about that? Something we haven't seen too much of the past several weeks. There's that mention of the ocean storm. I'll get to it. I promise you. But a quiet weekend looks like uh, in store for most of New England as we head through Saturday and Sunday, that being the weekend for most of us, not me though. 62 in Plymouth, 60 in Hyannis, our friends out in uh, Falmouth, uh, 64 degrees. That's the reading at an Otis National Air National Guard base. And 65 in Nantucket, 63 in Worcester, and uh, 59 right now in Orange. Nice, comfortable night for tonight. No air conditioner needed. Just a beautiful night to just open up the windows, let the fan do the work for you. And not much happening on Doppler radar either for once. No showers, no thunderstorms, and uh, that's basically the rule of thumb for the rest of tonight and tomorrow. Here's the cloud loop right now. Starlit skies across the area. Oh, the clouds moving backwards. There we go. Uh, not much happening across most of New England right now, and indeed, that will be the case tomorrow. Look what's off to the west. Hardly anything. There is an area of low pressure that continues to move out toward Nova Scotia, though. Not a problem for us. It continues heading out to sea, and again, all this real estate back here uh, under basically cloud-free skies. So. High pressure is ours for tomorrow. Low pressure down to the south. Don't worry about it until Thursday. It starts to move toward us. It'll be just offshore, far enough that most of its energy should pass down to our south. However, I'm including some showers in the forecast, especially for southeastern New England, that being the Cape and the Islands, the south coast, and maybe the south shore communities. That would be Thursday through midday and into the afternoon. That should wind down. And then by Friday, we're back to partial sunshine. And yeah, the chance for a shower or thunderstorm once again in the afternoon hours lingering on into the evening. Best chances for rain again, south of uh, Boston, southeastern New England, including the Cape and the Islands. It's about a 50% chance. We'll have to watch and see what it does. 58 to 62 under mostly clear skies tonight. 77 to 82 tomorrow with lots of sunshine. The UV index will be high tomorrow for a change, so slather on the suntan lotion. We'll take you to Whitehorse Beach now. Waves will be running one to two feet. Water temperature about 66 degrees and a high tide occurring at about quarter of 10 in the morning. Check it out on the five-day forecast. Again, watching that ocean storm perhaps to spread some showers along the south coast on Thursday. Other than that, looks high and dry with the exception of maybe a couple lingering showers. Friday evening into Friday night. The weekend looks pretty decent so far. We'll check it again at the end of the broadcast, guys. All right, AJ, thank you. Health officials not amused with this next video. Fast food employees seemingly naked in a restaurant sink. Video posted on MySpace. You can imagine it's getting a lot of hits. The video posted by someone claiming to be an employee of a Burger King in Ohio. It shows a guy taking a bubble bath in a stainless steel sink. I have an issue with the hair. That's actually fun, whatever. That's At the manager, point, by the way. If the manager is told and she says she doesn't want to know, Burger King is cooperating with the investigation. Tell us what you think. Read and respond to Mark's blog. Many of you have done so, and rather wittingly, I might add. Also hot on the web tonight, too short to shop. Well, this 20-year-old Kentucky woman claims she was kicked out of a mall because her dress was simply just too short. Kimberly Clem says she was approached by security about 10 minutes after she walked into the mall. Security guard approached me, um, asked me to step aside for my friend, um, made me completely do a turnaround while he stared me up and down. And then he asked me to leave because my outfit was too provocative and um, people's husbands was looking at me. I have shorts, to be honest, you know, that are completely worse than this dress. Here's the weird part. 
Clem says she wore the same dress to the same mall just a few days earlier and didn't have an issue. And she admits she's worn sexy clothes, as she just said there, to the mall before. But this is the first time she ever gotten kicked out. Oh, so much to say. Moving on now, one man's fantasy at a Mile High Adult store is being called illegal. Yeah, he apparently poses as a police officer to try and score some free pornography. It happened in Colorado. Investigators say the man tried to get an adult novelty shop to give him the videos. He claimed he wanted to make sure that the actors were not underage. What a lie. He allegedly tried three times within nine days before the manager got fed up. Call police. Police say he flashed a badge and claimed he was from the age verification unit. We have um, a special enforcement unit. We have different divisions of detectives, but we do not have um, anybody that we would title a special unit called the age verification unit. He could then try a traffic stop or go up to somebody in a park. We just don't know what his mindset would be, and we need to get him identified. Well, the, as you could hear, so far police have not located this huh. suspect, but, but they believe he's not going to have a problem. In the surveillance video, his left hand is injured and he's wearing a brace, and the picture's pretty good. All right, from sex to sports. Up next, one of the wildest baseball games you'll ever see. 36 runs scored at Fenway Park tonight. Sox with a 10-0 lead in the first inning, a lead that they lose. Come back and find out who kicks the winning field goal at the end to win it. Plenty of reasons to call Ira. Shop over 3,000 Toyotas and get two Toyotas for the price of one. Here's how it works. Buy a new 2008 Sequoia at MSRP and get a brand new 2009 fuel efficient Camry LE for three years. Get two Toyotas for the price of one. Buy what you want and get what you need. I was tired of paying an arm and a leg for gas, so I called Ira. Rush to your nearest Ira Toyota Superstore. Call Ira, 1-866-CALL-IRA or click iracars.com. Beat the cost of fun. Buy your 2009 season pass at 2008 prices and get the rest of this summer free. Water country, water country, water country. Have some fun. back get great goodbyes on cool supplies hey i'm back and so is the honda clearance which means two great things can happen one it's your chance to get a new totally redesigned accord or the fuel efficient civic and two at a savings that could be very opportunistic get it <laughs> look i may be animated but it all adds up to me Oop, guess i forgot to walk oscar the 2008 honda clearance Lease a Honda Accord for $219 a month for well-qualified customers. I missed your opportunity, and I'm knocking. Yeah, Oscar! Firehouse Fridays are back on Fox 25 Morning News. Big salute. Do you know a firehouse that deserves a Sky Fox flyover for all their hard work? Let us know, and Fox 25's Doug Meehan will pay them a visit. Firehouse Fridays, only on Fox 25 Morning News. It's Toyota's National Clearance Event. The best time for amazing deals and selection. On Toyotas that get over 30 MPG for under $200 a month. Like Corolla, 35 MPG. Lease one now, impressively equipped for just $179 a month for 36 months. Or get a clearance deal on a Corolla Matrix with 32 MPG. Lease one now for just $189 a month for 36 months. Toyota's National Clearance Event ends September 2nd. Hurry to your New England Toyota dealer today. This baseball game defies description. 37 hits, 36 runs at Fenway tonight, two home runs, Red Sox players with two home runs each, and still this goes down to the wire. Unbelievable. Forget about the debut of knuckleballer Charlie Zink. He's given a 10-0 lead and he can't hold it. The Sox come out smoking, and it's the big man leading the way. Turn around the corner, things got real quiet real fast. David Ortiz with a three-run shot, and we're just getting started. Sox bat around in the inning, 7-0 with Ortiz up again, and he does it again. Another three-run homer off Scott Feldman. Fourth time in Sox history, someone said two homers in one inning. Nomar the last to do it. It was 10 to nothing. Texas comes back. Ian Kinsler's three-run home run, and it's 12-10 Red Sox. Then watch this. Ortiz hits what should have been his third homer of the night, but it's fan interference, and it's called a double. 
interference on this. But Poppy's not there for long. No interference for the very next batter. Kevin Euclid, no doubt. His 21st of the year, a two-run shot, and it's 14-10 Red Sox. But the Rangers come back with six runs to lead at 16-14. Bottom of the eighth, Dustin Pedroia, his fifth hit of the night. The wall ball double. Ellsbury scores all the way from first. We're tied at 16. They intentionally walk Ortiz, and Uke does it again. This time off Frank Francisco, a three-run shot. It's 19-16. Papp would give up one run to make it 19-17. That's your final. What an exhausting baseball game. The Sox win on an incredible night at Fenway Park. And more good news for the Red Sox. Reinforcements on the way. 37-year-old soft-throwing right-hander Paul Bird, now a member of the Red Sox. The Sox will send either cash or a player be named later to the Indians for Bird. Although Bird has only yeah, seven wins and an ERA of four and a half, he's won all four of his last starts since the All-Star break, and it has an ERA of 1.24 in those games. Good move. Not a good night for the Canton Little Leaguers tonight at the Junior League Baseball World Series in Taylor, Michigan, but they are still alive. Canton loses to Hilo, Hawaii, first loss of the tournament for them. Canton's Kevin Rooney pitches four and two-thirds, but they lose 12-zip. Kevin carrying on that long Rooney tradition of sports excellence from Canton. Canton plays again tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock, this time against the team from Mechanicsville, Virginia. If you go visit training camp for Foxborough these days, you can't help notice just how many running backs the Patriots have in uniform. Maroney, Morris, Evans, Falk, Jordan, and others. The questions right now aren't about how many will make the team. They're about how they can learn to work together. Well, you know, I think that's what makes our group so unique right now, that we have experience, but at the same time, we got to produce while we're out there. I think that we all bring a lot of experience we, that, you know, we come in the game, we know we got to know the situations and be able to perform during those situations and, you know, do our job. You got to get to know people and see, you know, see what they feel, see what they like, how, how they feel about certain things. And, you know, especially a new guy like Lamont that came in, you know, he, he has to get a hold of the offense, so he has to ask questions and, and we have to be the guys to answer those questions mm -hmm. because we're the ones in there. Katuit beats Falmouth today 3-2, to two, which now sets up a three-game series between Katuit and Harwich for the Cape League Championship. It starts at 3 o'clock on Wednesday tomorrow in Katuit for Game 1, and the Revolution lose 3-1 to one to D.C. United at RFK. They're eliminated from the U.S. Open Cup. I'm exhausted after that Red Sox game. Quite I'm a game. I'm glad it's over with a good ending. Well, investigators with the National Transportation Safety Board will be in Easton tomorrow. Yeah, the group expected to arrive on the scene of that deadly pr plane crash sometime in the morning. The Angel flight was transporting a cancer patient and his wife to Dana-Farber for treatment. The couple and the plane's pilot all died on impact. Dry day tomorrow, lots of sunshine. Yes. Rain holds off until Thursday. Ocean storm. Ocean storm. He What's says up with a that? glint in his eye. <laughs> Morning news starts 5 a.m. Have a good night. It's Toyota's National Clearance Event. The best time for amazing deals and selection from the most fuel-efficient full-line car company, including Tacoma. Recognized for its fuel-stingy ways and its safety. And right now, you could save with $1,000 cash back on select 08 Tacomas that need to be cleared out. That's Tacoma's biggest offer ever. Or you could save on a 4Runner with 0% financing for 60 months. Toyota's National Clearance Event ends September 2nd. Hurry to your New England Toyota dealer today. Good dog. Ice cream! American Standard. Heating and air conditioning. Now more than ever, you want to get the most for your money. Look no further than the rugged V6 2008 Kia Sportage. Fuel efficient, five-star safety rated, backed by an industry-leading warranty, and it's priced about $6,000 less than a Toyota RAV4 Limited. Or to put it another way, a whole year's worth of groceries less. The Kia model year-end event, it's money well saved. While others are reducing your opportunity to lease, Kia is proud to offer a $199 a month lease on the 2008 Sportage. I can't go to class with him. I can't do his history report for him. Or show the teachers how curious he is. That's his job. My job is to give him everything he needs to succeed while staying within a budget. That's why I go to Walmart. The institution helps shape America. I love my job. Find all the brands those other stores have, but for low Walmart prices, like Dell, HP, and Toshiba. Save money, live better. Walmart.
The launch event starts in four. drive Lincoln MKZ for $329 a month or Lincoln MKX for $379 a month. Only during the launch. Is your car trying to tell you something? Maybe it knows it doesn't have the right insurance. Because you didn't